Crosby, Texas, about 30 miles east of here. Not on the board yet. He's missed his only shot. His teammate Jared Garcia has all five for Tulsa. They're up one, and Makai Mason is at the line for the Owls. Mason has been on a tear, Sean, over the last few games, averaging 17 points, well above his season average the last five games, including a couple of 20-point outings. Yeah, and they really need his productivity from the field. He's shooting it much better in that stretch, too, in those five games. 43% from three. So he's a great mid-range shooter, can get to the basket. If he's consistent from the outside, that is a very difficult matchup then for Tulsa. Haggerty trying to find Matt Reed inside, out of bounds, and a turnover. Tulsa has had all week to stew on a 33-point loss to SMU last Saturday in Dallas. Their coach, Eric Conkel, said, hey, this was good for us. We were able to just focus on us, work on our defense Monday and Tuesday. Didn't have to worry about any scout early in the week. Yeah, and that's what you want to see is the improvement from the defense. How did that translate for the week of practice? Try to not give up any easy buckets. All three baskets have come inside the lane right at the bucket for Rice in this ballgame. Max Fiedler finding Keanu Dawes for the bucket, and with that assist, Fiedler has become Rice's all-time assist leader. 504 in his career, passing Max Gersey. Matt Reed with the bucket for Tulsa. Great job by Reed, clearing out space that time. You get it underneath, got to be strong, take it right up to the rim. Easy bucket. And Sean, you see here how Rice plays through Fiedler. Again, all-time assist leader, and he is 6'11". He is a true point center as Makai Mason throws it away. Times are changing, right? Yep. The big guys all yep. on the pass, and, and <laughs> you know, it's shooting threes from the outside, and he's done a terrific job of taking care of the basketball and getting guys involved, sometimes too much. He's overpassing when it looks like he's got an angle to the basket or a good shot for himself but trying to get his teammates involved every trip down. Josiah McBride drills the three. Just a 28% three-point shooter. In fact, that's only his sixth made three of the season. Yeah, but hit a three in the last two games, so he's starting to get that confidence. And again, another young player getting more and more minutes, getting a little more comfortable as the season goes on. Mason grazes the rim for Rice. Isaiah Barnes in early foul trouble for Tulsa. One of their starters picked up two quick ones. Carlos Williams now with a three. Back-to-back -back triples for Tulsa. And a throw to get the run going. And that they were expecting is that didn't want this to be a three-point shooting contest when you go on the road. So what you got to do for Tulsa is you take those threes. It's a positive. They're great looks, but don't fall in love with the three. You got to keep attacking. Take those shots as they come within the flow of the offense. But terrific start here for Tulsa on the road shooting the basketball. Noah Shelby is in the game. Sophomore from McKinney, Texas, north of Dallas. Number one in white. Under 10 to shoot for Evie. Rice is leading scorer. Shelby launches from the logo. Kobe Williams darting ahead for the bucket and one. The veteran. He played for Eric Conkle at Louisiana Tech and he's rejoined him here at Tulsa. That's just creating offense out of your defense. It was a really high energetic defensive possession for Tulsa. Leads to a long shot, long rebound. It's a run out. Great job by Williams going all the way to the basket. Doesn't settle for a jump shot. Has a chance for the and one opportunity. Now, Conkle told us earlier today, first of all, hey, I'm honored that Kobe Williams would want to finish his career with me just like he started his career with me. It's a different role, though, for Williams than what he had under Conkle in Ruston, Louisiana. He's not the leading scorer. He's more of a pass-first point guard, despite that last play. Yeah, he's very capable to do of multiple things for this Tulsa team. And imagine, do whatever you have to do to get a win on the road. You want that veteran to step up for you. And he's off to a good start here tonight. This is a great boost of energy right now Tulsa you can see they're playing with confidence they're playing with pace on both ends of the floor pressure and defensively and then good pace here on offense 11 unanswered for the Golden Hurricane wide open look Jared Hall can't bury it Rice has lost four in a row at home coming in Mason stripped and out of bounds to Tulsa Matt Reed the hustle play the freshman from Carrollton, Texas, in the DFW Metroplex. 
Yeah, guys diving on the floor, trying to get after loose basketball, saving possessions there. And you can just tell everybody's locked in right now. You look over at the bench, everybody's up. They're cheering, they're high-fiving. Good energy right now from Tulsa. Great start to this ball game. You come on the road, you want to be the team that takes that first punch. And they've landed yeah. the first punch. And they're a team that has lost six in a row on the road this season. 0-5 in true road games and also a neutral side game. Haggerty, no. And it's Rice Ball. Also encouraging, Sean, that they have built this lead with P.J. Haggerty being scoreless so far. Yeah, and sometimes when the number one guy, he's he's on the scouting report. All eyes are on him. He's going to the basket. You're going to get guys sucking in on him. You lose track of some of the other guys. And right now Tulsa's got players stepping up. So the focus is on Haggerty. Good start for them. And Husanovic with the three-pointer. 42% from beyond the arc. He has been lighting it up in conference play. Yeah, 55% from three in the last seven games. So almost automatic when he's catching the basketball beyond the arc. Got to close out hard, run him off that line. Tyshawn Archie misses the step back. Garcia lost it out of bounds. Rice ball after the official timeout. Tulsa. And down the three as well. So Garcia got it going. Early bucket right at the rim and then stepping out, knocking down the three. It was a 5-0 lead real quick. That gave Tulsa the confidence they needed. And we heard some good cheers coming from the crowd. They've got a lot of family and friends in the stands here for the homecoming. Eric Conkle said that he told all four, hey, you want to plant your flag. This is home for you. Don't overemphasize it, but listen, play free. You got your friends and family here. Oh, what a play. A scoop by Anthony Selden, the fifth-year senior from Boston. And a great job using that frame. That's 6'6", 225 body. Put the defender right on his hip and then finished at the basket. Selden, grad transfer from Gardner-Webb. Williams lost it on his way up. Rice is without their sixth man tonight. Sam Alajiki, he's got a quad injury, so Selden is probably going to see a few more minutes than usual. Camp Wagner misfires. The freshman from Dallas did not play earlier in the week. The loss to FAU on Wednesday. Williams fires and hits. That's a three. And he's feeling it right now with confidence. Defender goes underneath that ball screen, so he just steps back. Takes the three, buries it. Sean Tulsa, four of seven from downtown. Husainovich with an answer. Great response, and if you're Tulsa, you can't lose him. You have to have a hand up anytime he catches it. Run him off the three. He's shooting with so much confidence right now. He has set a season high in scoring each of the last four games. Alem Husainovich from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Garcia. No. And here comes Husainovich. Wagner trying to find Akuche. Trying to stick with it. And Garcia pulls it in for Tulsa. Archie rejected, but a foul. Andrew Akuche challenging the shot. Knocking down threes early. Tulsa, you go underneath that screen. Williams says, thank you very much. I'll take that. Gives him space, gives him time. And then the answer on the other end, Husainovich has been lights out from downtown. Shooting the ball with a lot of confidence. The answer. And so Archie is at the line. Max Fiedler returning along with Keanu Dawes. Tyshawn Archie, another one of those Houston natives for Tulsa. You said it at shoot-around today. He's one of the few freshmen in college basketball you see nowadays that actually looks like a freshman. He's got that wiry frame. Absolutely. He's so quick. He's athletic. He can get to the rim, but he doesn't come in here at 220 pounds already. <laughs> you see some of these guys coming as freshmen. You're like, what are they doing on these high school campuses? Archie takes a seat. Haggerty back in for Tulsa. Selden blocked by Garcia, but a foul. 
Selden has success going to the basket. A couple possessions ago, again attacking, being strong, drawing the foul, contact at the rim. So Garcia picks up his first. And Selden, a 79% foul shooter at the line. Big Monday on ESPN, first in the ACC, number 12 Duke. Coming off that dramatic win earlier today over Clemson. Tyrese Proctor, two free throws in the final second to beat Clemson. Seven Eastern in Blacksburg, then in the Big 12, number four Houston and Texas. Both games also on the app. Great activity. Carlos Williams able to get that put back. Strong finish at the basket. Mason catch and shoot. And a foul inside. That goes against Kobe Williams. And two guys just getting physical there in the lane. Officials talking to him a little bit, making sure it's, it stays clean. Like the hard play, just clean it up a little bit. Mason short, and Garcia's got another rebound for Tulsa. Williams. And Carlos Williams stepped out. No relation between Kobe and Carlos. And a turnover for Tulsa. You see the sideline get another victim. You see a lot of guys stepping out on the sideline. Got to be aware of where you are when you're running down the floor in transition. You never did that playing for Bill Self at Illinois, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's a, the cardinal sin, right? That's a no-no. <laughs> Uh, you move the line further back and uh, that, coaches talked about it when they it, did that a few years ago that hey You got to be aware exactly where you are on the court. Yeah, those, those corner threes now not as much room to get those feet down and You're seeing that quite a bit gotta have that court awareness where you're at Haggerty scoreless so far 12 minutes into the first half McWright no and P.J. Haggerty is the top freshman scorer in the country at 19 a game. Williams the interception. Numbers for Tulsa. Blocked by Mason, but he's fouled. And that sends us to here with the Owls. Great baseball program. Well, you can play six degrees of separation between Joe Espada and Rice head basketball coach Scott Para. Because Para's best friend, Jason Zitter, is Espada's brother-in-law. So Para told us earlier today, yeah, I've gotten to know Joe and happy that he's getting a shot now as Dusty Baker retires. Yeah, and doesn't matter what sport it is, the coaching fraternity is very small. Seems like everybody knows somebody. You've worked with someone along the way. Always good when you get these connections. Kobe Williams at the line for Tulsa. And he leads the Golden Hurricane with seven here in the first half. Again, Tulsa with P.J. Haggerty, the number one freshman scorer in Division One, And Haggerty, four in blue, has not scored so far tonight. He's 0 for 3 from the floor, but he does have two assists. And he hasn't forced it yet. And if you're Tulsa, you're very excited to have a nine-point lead without your leading scorer scoring yet. That's trouble for Rice that he hasn't gotten going yet, and you have a deficit to climb out of. Seldon denied by Garcia. Williams connects. That's a three. What a start for Kobe Williams. Now he's playing great. He's feeling great. He is running the floor that time. Gets out the three. Good push ahead from Haggerty. And Williams, no hesitation, steps right into it, playing with all kinds of confidence right now. Fiedler. Selden finding space on the interior. Wasn't going to be blocked by Garcia this time. No, good job cutting to the basket. Tulsa was flying all around that defensive possession. Didn't look like Rice was going to get anything. And then really good job by Selden to get to the basket. They found him cutting. McWright the floater, too strong. Husanovic. 
Loose ball tracked down by Max Fiedler. And the freshman Dawes traveled. Dawes is just flying around right now. You get the block on one end, and then you really start pushing the basketball. Really good job by Williams getting those feet set out in transition. Get that ball right in that shooting pocket. Perfect pass. Williams steps into one, knocks down another three for Tulsa. Kobe Williams with 10, getting a breather now. And his replacement, Tyshawn Archie, turns it over, looking for Jared Garcia. Yeah, right thought that time from Archie. Getting inside to Garcia, just overthrew the pass. Leads to a turnover. Again, this is the growing pains that Eric Conkle was talking about, right? Archie, one of those four freshmen who play big minutes for Tulsa. And you can take that when it's the right play, it's just the wrong execution. It's when you start making the wrong decisions, you've got to correct it. So you'll take some of those growing pains from the younger guys. They're making the right play. They're just not able to finish that play. Makai Mason with the three. Rice within seven. Garcia. Offline. Husainovich. Here comes P.J. Haggerty back in his hometown. Knocked out of his hands by Mason. Still Tulsa ball. Well, two of the top teams in the SEC square off in our ESPN Sunday afternoon women's basketball matchup. Tennessee and Ole Miss in Oxford. Coverage beginning at 3 Eastern. Rakia Jackson of the Lady Vols, one of the very best in the SEC, averaging 19 points and 9 rebounds. Got a fun matchup here with Mason guarding Haggerty. It's off the ball right now. Now he switched it off. Haggerty's Hasn't had many open looks. Mason's a good reason why. And how about Carlos Williams knocking down another three? I mean, everybody's getting in the act beyond the arc for Tulsa here in the first half. Six made threes for Tulsa. Mason responding for Rice on three of his own. And Mason's the type of player that can take over a ball game on both ends of the floor. Knocked down a couple threes here, last few possessions. Mentioned he's... Following Haggerty right now, trying to slow down the lead and score. Haggerty ran into Fiedler and turned it over. Husainovich on the break. Swatted by Garcia. Still Rice ball. Outstanding hustle from Garcia. Didn't quit on the play, able to track him down. No easy ones. That's what you need. Haggerty loses the basketball. And Garcia just out of nowhere. Husainovich thought he had a wide open one. He had the guy in his left. That's who he was trying to fend off. Had no idea Garcia was coming from behind. Five points, seven boards, and a couple of blocks for Garcia. Missed three by Gay Boren, the freshman from Plano, Texas. And Tulsa takes over. Now Garcia, one of those four players originally from Houston. It's funny, Sean, Tulsa has twice as many players from here in Houston than Rice does. Rice has only two Houston natives. This day and age right now, recruiting's gone more national. It used to be a lot of guys staying in state, staying in town at the transfer portal. So guys are hopping all around. It's rare when you get a team stacked with guys from the same town or same city. Haggerty still scoreless. He's 0 for 4 in his homecoming. Husainovich, open look, and he nails it. Strong out for Alam Husainovich, his third three of the half. Really good read, too. Coming off the down screen, defender goes under, so he just fades the screen. You got to be in his pocket right now. That's a shooter with all kinds of confidence. Seven to shoot for Tulsa. Archie, a deep three. You know, Rice is staying in this with Travis Eby, their top scorer, not on the board yet. 
Back not even on the court at the moment. Shelby with 10 to shoot. Husseinovic is feeling it. That's a good look. You'll take that if you're Rice. Hottest shooter on the floor right now. Gets a little bit of space. You want him to let it loose. Tulsa doesn't want to fall in love with the three. Got to get something going towards the basket here in this possession. Archie trying to create. Five on the timer. Oh, the spin around Shelby. That was beautiful. Love it. You're struggling a little bit offensively. Rice is making a run. Don't settle for a long shot. Archie gets all the way into the lane. Great body control on that spin. Mason finding Shelby at the other end. Bullseye. That's a triple. Rice has hit six threes in the first half. And a timeout for Tulsa with 153 remaining. <laughs> Belt them after practice every single day. Whatever it takes, right? Para leading Rice into their first year in the American Conference last year with 19 wins was the best of his tenure. It's an important final two minutes for both of these teams. Tulsa's played extremely well. You need to take a lead into the half. You've played too good. This thing to be tied up where you're down. And Rice, you got to feel really good the way you've climbed back into this one. Reed with a soft touch. The freshman just continues to improve so skilled for the Golden Hurricane. Yeah, took his time in the post that time. Created some space. Oh, Fiedler trying to feed Husseinovich through the back door. It's taken away by Tulsa. Williams fires. Now for Rice, Travis Evey, top 10 scorer in the American, has been saddled with foul trouble. He's played only seven minutes here in the first half. Again, still not on the court here in the final minute. Selden on the drive. Too strong. And it's tipped in by Fiedler. Reed might have gotten a piece of it as well for Tulsa. Yeah, that's one of those you raise your hand, right? That was me that tipped it in, tried to get some credit for that one. Good job by Fiedler to stay active on the glass. Able to finish it off the missed shot. A.J. Haggerty has not scored yet. 19 a game to lead the country among freshmen. And still scoreless. Shot clock is dark. Final 20 seconds of the half. And that's when Haggerty makes 90% of the time, so... Just a slow offensive start for him in this ball game. Pulse is still able to have the lead here, closing seconds of the half. Rice could tie it with a three. Haggerty the strip. And Haggerty gets on the board right before the buzzer. What a season bucket. He's the top freshman scorer in the nation for Tulsa. Yeah, and both teams knocking down threes in the first half, so you don't want to fall in love with that. You really feel like this second half, keep an eye on the two guys you just mentioned. Evie for Rice, Haggerty for Tulsa. You're going to pull out the victory. Both of those guys have to be a factor here in this second half. Kobe Williams, 24 in blue. The senior point guard has a game-high 10. Haggerty on the attack right away. You called it, Sean. And sometimes it's those momentum plays. You mentioned a steal to finish the first half. Gets him on the board. He feels good going into the half. First play, you draw it up for him. Get him into the lane. Finishes at the basket. And Haggerty back home. He's got 50 friends and family on hand. He's from Crosby, about 30 miles east of here. Six to shoot for Rice. Dawes, the freshman. Hits. You can see what Keanu Dawes can become. A four-star recruit from right here in Houston. He's got good range. Half of his shots come from beyond the arc. That one mid-range jumper coming off that ball screen. Able to put it on the deck. Even with that 6'9 frame. Stratford High School product, Keanu Dawes. Williams gives it up. Garcia launches, and he hits Jared Garcia with eight points. Remember, hit that three in the early going. Yeah, that's part of his game. That's the seventh time now he's hit multiple threes in a game. So you, on those ball screens, they got to get back to him. Don't give him much space. Got to have a better job contesting. Fiedler, the top offensive rebounder in the American, gives Rice another crack at it. Mason, an air ball. 
Williams knocked out of his hands. Haggerty recovers, and he spins it home. That could have been a turnover, and instead it's another Haggerty bucket. And that's just the entire Tulsa team running down the floor. So when that loose ball is there, Haggerty right there to pick it up. Scoop finishes at the basket. Garcia with the steal for Tulsa. Barnes lost it. A turnover. You gotta like to push if you're Tulsa. Just take care of the basketball. Williams got a hand on it. Still belongs to Rice. Haggerty had a rough first half. Only the two points. And this is just being in the right place at the right time. Not giving up on the play. Running your lane in transition. Ball just finds you. Able to finish at the basket. Dawes in deep against Garcia. Had a tough angle. Fiedler recovers it. Evie. And he got the friendly bounce. He'll take it. Travis Evie's first points of the night. And he needed that good ball movement. Finds him in the corner. Able to knock one down. See if that gets him going here. They're going to need a good offensive production from him here in the second half if they're going to come back and win this ball game. And remember, Evie was scoreless in the loss to FAU on Wednesday. So it's Travis Evie's first points of the week for the Owls. Foul called against Alem Hussainovic. And, and when you're a shooter, you mentioned it. There it is. Zero points, last 34 minutes. And struggling here tonight until that bucket goes down. As a shooter, sometimes you just need to see the ball go through the rim. Get that confidence going. Carlos Williams with the basket for Tulsa. Listen, Scott Perra told us at shoot-around today, Travis Evie was embarrassed after Wednesday night. I hope he comes out with an edge. Instead, he came out, picked up two quick fouls, had to take a seat. But maybe that three will get him going. Husainovich off the mark. Barnes in transition for Tulsa, and he banks it in. That was really good body control on the break that time from Barnes. He didn't force it, didn't rush it. Took it right to the defender's chest, so there was no chance for a block shot. Evie in a crowd, and he draws the foul. Carlos Williams and Jared Garcia met him in the air, and the foul's against Garcia, his second. And this could help Travis Evie as well. An 85% foul shooter ranking fourth in the American. Now the chance to see the ball go through the hoop. For one of the top active scorers in college basketball. Our next ESPN Big Monday doubleheader. First in Blacksburg, Kyle Filipowski at number 12 Duke coming off. A big win over Clemson earlier today, winning it in the final seconds. They're at Virginia Tech. Then number four, Houston. The Cougs, of course, just down the road from here. They are at Texas. Both games on the app. Speaking of the Cougars, four miles from here at Tudor Fieldhouse. They pounded K-State earlier today on ESPN. They've won four in a row now. Stifling defense and something the American knew is well about that Houston defense. And now the Big 12 is finding out that... They don't mess around in the defensive end. They get after it. It is very hard to score on Houston, especially at home. They were up 20 at the half over K-State. Matt Reed showing off his range. That's a long two. Coach Conkle really likes what Matt Reed can do for this ball club. Can step out and shoot a three. There's a mid-range jumper. Can be physical around the boards. One of the four freshmen in the rotation for Tulsa. Evie. Reed try to keep it alive. Offensive rebound, Mason. Fiedler can go to work. Husainovich, short. Just missed. That's a good look. A couple offensive boards. Got to take advantage of those second, third chance opportunities. Uh, Haggerty so crafty. He saw Husainovich crowding him. He draws the con to get a road victory. This guy's going to have to be productive here in the second half. He's off to a very good start. Yeah, that bucket at the end of the first half, two more to start the second half, and he's contributed in other areas. The three assists and the three rebounds. And here he is on the drive against Fiedler, kicking it out. Carlos Williams, too much on it. 
Makai Mason, the spin. Fiedler with the putback. He's the top offensive rebounder in the American for a reason. Yeah, and really good job by Mason putting the pressure on defense. Everybody collapses, and then Fiedler just comes over there, able to clean it up. He's getting almost four offensive rebounds per game. And he grabs a defensive board on the Barnes miss here. Dawes finds Fiedler inside for two more. Really good job that time. Fiedler ran to the rim on the break. It drew the defense in. So Dawes was able to get into the lane that time. Rotation wasn't there. Fiedler able to finish up the rim. Good drop down from Dawes. Ten points, nine boards for Fiedler. Williams turns the corner and he curls it home. Guards have to play at different paces. That time Williams did a really good job. Change direction, change your pace. He came off that ball screen and he exploded to the basket. With Haggerty off to the slow start, Kobe Williams really lifted Tulsa in that first half. He's got a dozen. If he got it back, oh, swatted at the rim by Carlos Williams. And Evie remains down. Tulsa playing five on four here. And Carlos Williams drills the three. And leads to the break the other way. Wide open three because of the five on four. And once again, Travis Evie finds himself on the bench. Mason finds Fiedler in too deep against Garcia. Knocked away by McWright and a steal. Dawes takes it back for Rice. Husainovich all day to think about it. That's a shot he normally hits. He has been on fire from the outside. Felt like that could have been a little bit of a momentum shift there. You get a steal, break the other way. Best shooter gets wide open look. You just can't knock it down. Oh, nice cut by Haggerty. McRide with the perfect pass. Tulsa has its largest lead. Recognize Rhodes Scholars, Nobel Prize winners, and yes, a Pulitzer Prize winner in the great Larry McMurtry. Won the Pulitzer in 1985 for Lonesome Dove. It's not just about retired jersey numbers and championship banners. I mean, Sean, after all, Pulitzers fly forever. Yeah, no question. You walk into a place, you see championship banners, it usually gets you some extra points, right? You feel nervous, threatened. <laughs> My intelligence is being threatened right now in this place. <laughs> Kobe Williams blocking Evie shot out of bounds four to shoot. You mean you, you didn't have that kind of experience at Illinois? I, I, no, they're not putting any banners up for my academic uh, prowess anywhere in Champaign, <laughs> Illinois right now. Mason off the mark at the shot clock buzzer. Tulsa has its largest lead here up by 14 under 12 and a half to play. Looking for their first road win of the season. Critical couple minutes here. Both teams. Tulsa wants to extend this lead here. Keep the pressure on. Keep building. If you're Rice, you got to start looking at the clock here now. You want to start getting this lead down into single digits here before it gets to the 9 10 minute mark so you feel like you can put a little bit more pressure on them to make a run late in the second half kind of like the way rice did in the first half went down double figures and trimmed it to three before the haggerty bucket right before the buzzer well pass corralled by carlos williams under 10 to shoot now for tulsa and an offensive foul mcwright called for the screen as he tried to free up his teammate. Timeout after the Tulsa turnover. And there was a five point game at the break, and Tulsa just can't miss. Meanwhile, Rice has gone cold. Yeah, and there's the difference of the ball game. First half, not only the shooting stats, but all the stats across the board very even when you broke it all down. Second half has been a completely different story. Tulsa has been very efficient on the offensive end. Rice struggling to get a bucket, but they're able to get one there. 
Selden able to get to the basket. We saw a little bit of that in the first half. He's able to use that body, get to the basket. That's what you need. You're struggling offensively. You got to find a way to get easy baskets. You can't settle for threes. Selden able to get into the lane, absorb the contact from Williams, finishes three point play opportunity. And Selden gave Rice some good minutes in the first half. Again, no Sam Alajiki. Rice's sixth man out with a quad injury. So Selden cuts it to 11. The foul was on Carlos Williams. Through the hands of Jared Garcia. And Haggerty almost got it right back for Tulsa. Keep the attack mindset here if you're Rice. Get something going towards the basket. Fiedler with the pass. Selden the stop. Max Fiedler has x-ray vision. He's <laughs> just dissecting a defense when he catches it that mid-post area. Great job by Selden. Able to cut to the basket. Second buck in the row. Two possessions where Selden scores at the rim. Kobe Williams connects. His third three of the game, he's got 15. Too much separation that time. You go over the screen. Williams just fades to the corner. He's been terrific from beyond the arc tonight. Fiedler wants it. You got to give it to him there where he can operate just off that. Instead, Mason late in the shot clock. And Mason left it short. Haggerty takes it. And puts it home. P.J. Haggerty in double figures now with 10. And again, just loose basketballs, 50-50 basketballs. Haggerty comes up with it, able to score at the basket. So many times, who can get more easy buckets? Well, that's as easy as it comes for Haggerty. Fiedler knocked out of his hands by Garcia and a kick ball. So the shot clock resets to 20 for Rice. Man, Garcia has been active for Tulsa all night. Flying around that time. Rice prefers that wasn't called. Looked like Fielder was going to get a bucket. Evie, too strong. Now Travis Evie, just five points. He's one of six from the floor. Rice's leading scorer, Garcia. Knocked down a couple from three already, so you don't mind that. A little early in the shot clock, but it's a quality look at high ball screen. Garcia's just popping. Gets called for the reach in here on Fiedler, and so Garcia picks up foul number three. So Jared Garcia, who like Haggerty making his return to Houston, has to head out. Carlos Williams comes off as well as Isaiah Barnes and Matt Reed check back in. Rice always playing through Fiedler. Oh, what a pass! And Evie puts it through. I mean, that was just terrific. He Comes off of the curl screen. He used his body to get a little separation from the defender and then a little drop pass underneath. That, that's pretty. It is fun watching the big fella dissect the defense from that high post. And the bounce pass with the offhand as well. Kobe Williams over the top. You know, the thing about Max Fiedler too, Sean, it, it, of course, he loves Nikola Jokic, the two-time MVP, the reigning finals MVP. He has watched a ton of film on Jokic. Well, you're watching these two passes that he makes. It looks a little bit like Jokic. He squares up here, turns his body, gets a little bit of separation. I mean, that drop-down pass to Evie, that's special right there. There's not many guys that can make that play. Fiedler says, I was a fan of Jokic before anyone knew who he was. Like back when he was being drafted during a Taco Bell commercial on ESPN. Has always loved his game. Zeldin for three. Way off. And Haggerty a blur. And he draws the foul. He just covers so much ground. He gets in that open floor. Really, really tough to put a body in front of him. And you can see the pressure that he just puts on the defense. 
There's a reason why he gets to the line almost nine times a game. It's plays like that. He gets in the open floor, puts his head down, explodes to the basket. You have no choice but to follow him. And believe it or not, 8.47 to go. These are the first free throw attempts of the night for Haggerty. Well, the American Hoop Showcase highlights top conference matchups with enhanced coverage across digital platforms. And this is the next showcase, a women's game between Rice and South Florida, Wednesday, February 7th at 7 Eastern, exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. Sign up today at ESPNplus.com slash AAC. The Rice women falling earlier today here at Tudor Field House against Memphis. Now 5-3 and three in league play. Foul called inside on Matt Reed. Trying to keep up with Fiedler. Now Scott Perra told us earlier today, I, I thought that this team coming in would be my best shooting team yet. And for most of the season, it's been my worst. As another foul is called on the perimeter this time uh, against... Tyshawn Archie, but they're starting to figure it out. And he mentioned shot selection, Sean, being the biggest thing for this Rice yeah, team. Yeah, shot selection and just being consistent, right? Some guys have gone where they've made three, four threes in the game, and then you go scoreless and oh from the arc the next game. So they need that consistency. And as we're <laughs> talking helps. about that right now, so <laughs> he reverse announcers jinx, right? He's talking about they can't make any threes, and so then they start knocking them down. Good job by Shelby able to knock that one down, but. It also is difficult when you're down now to make a run if you're not shooting the three. So they got to be selective when they're taking them. Keep playing through Fiedler. He's done a really good job of hitting cutters and then maybe kicking out to threes. We can step into it with a higher percentage shot. Haggerty the kick. McWright oh, tried to go behind the back. And he finds Haggerty, who's fouled. With two on the shot clock. My top freshman scorer in the country. Memphis with two players on this list. I put together this all-transfer team. I thought you'd appreciate it. Quinterly and Jones with the Tigers. I saw Jay Buckets, Jason Edwards of North Texas, junior college transfer the other night when North Texas beat SMU. And Cason Pryor of South Florida has been on a tear for the Bulls. Yeah, it's a very good list there. And it shows how you can turn a season around from one year to the next based on getting those transfers and how productive they can be. Jordan Ivy Curry, another guy to keep at UTSA. For sure. Came eligible because of the double transfer rule. So he's only played 10 games, but averaging 18 a game. So you can get a lot of production from guys coming into your program. And just because you are one thing one year, you can change the whole dynamic of your team that next season with making a couple good pickups in the offseason. Haggerty, the TCU transfer with 14. Fiedler, the dunk off the feed from Travis Evie. It's a nice little two-man game they got going right there. It was Fiedler to Evie a couple possessions ago. That time it's Evie to Fiedler. Keep working that two-man game here, trying to get this down into single digits. Approaching that seven-minute mark, try to put pressure on Tulsa here on this end. Kobe Williams. Cut off by Selden. Eight to shoot for Isaiah Barnes, the Michigan transfer. McWright, the Houston native. Oh, man, hit the side of the backboard. Big possession here. Get that momentum going your way. Husainovich, short. It's a great shot. Really good look. Exactly what you want. Fiedler hits. Usainovich just not able to knock it down. It would have cut it to eight. Yeah, Alem Usainovich had the hot start. He's three of eight from three now. Kobe Williams, too strong. And if you're Tulsa, you got to be careful. You got the lead here. You want to keep attacking the rim. Can't force up too many threes. And Evie gets it to fall with a foul. Top ten scorer in the American with a chance at one more. Exactly what Rice needs. Evie, really, it's a really good job. Just getting all the way to the basket. Gets it up there, absorbs the contact. Now you get this in the single digits. Starts putting pressure on Tulsa on the other end that they got to keep up with the scoring. Way too early in this ball game to start bleeding clock. Tulsa's got to stay in the attack mode, get to the rim, get to the lane, try to get out on the break, get some buckets. The five-year starter, Travis Evie, 
from Randolph, Massachusetts. One year at VMI, four here on South Main at Rice. And it's an eight-point game. Haggerty, the blow-by. Blocked by Fiedler. And Haggerty is fouled. How about P.J. Haggerty staying with the play after the rejection? And you feel the momentum changing a little bit, going towards Rice direction. Coach Conkle gets Haggerty back into the ball game, and this is the reason why. Talk about not settling for outside jumpers. He's not going to settle for outside jump shots. He attacks the rim. You mentioned gets to the line almost nine times a game. He earns himself a trip here. Then Haggerty did not score for the first 19 minutes and 59 seconds. Had a bucket right before the buzzer. And he has added 13 here in the second half. The top freshman scorer in the country. Back home in Houston. Evie. Dawes the back tap. Fresh 20 for Rice. Shelby for three. Give it to him. Rice is down six. And those are effort plays. Dawes getting in there, just tapping it back. Gives his team a second chance opportunity. Shelby able to bury the three from the corner. We want to make sure Haggerty gets a touch here in this possession. There it is. Under 10 on the timer, Haggerty the step back. Oh, got it! P.J. Haggerty, a big triple for Tulsa. Huge three. Give it to your leader. Momentum starts going on Rice's side. Haggerty needs to have a touch. He gets it, makes him pay. Mason looking for Dawes. Kobe Williams the deflection. A steal for Tulsa. Haggerty again. And count the bucket. It's a goaltend. Lucas Santos says that they will take a closer look here. We will as well. And off the turnover. Haggerty off and running. It doesn't hit the backboard. Is that ball on the way down? And the foul was called, I believe, on Noah Shelby before Haggerty even scooped it on up to the basket. We'll get the explanation here. As we would expect, they are taking a look to see if this is a goaltend. Yeah, Kim, Sean, you would think the foul would be right there yeah. before the shot. We got a little NBA continuation exactly. going on right yeah. now. And that it's ball not does, the NBA. Yeah, that ball does not hit the backboard. And that's always the automatic. If the ball hits the glass and then you touch it, it's an automatic. And that and ball did look like it was on the way up, and they're waving it off yep. right now. Yep, as they should. Yep. So in that case, I believe it's the foul by Shelby. Yep, you see right there. It's the right call. And so two free throws here for Haggerty. See the impact he makes in this ball game right away. And the lead goes down to six. It's a step back three for Haggerty. And then gets out on the break and gets fouled. He wants to add two more here to the... He pushes it up to 11. So it goes from six to 11 real quickly with Haggerty running the show. And just like that, he's on his season average, which leads the nation among freshmen. 19 a game. 17 of his 19 coming in the second half. Evie downhill. Trying to find Fiedler. Got it back. Shot clock running down. That's a good recovery from Tulsa on the loose ball. 
through the back door. Mason puts it in reverse with a foul. Rice isn't done just yet. That's good patience, not settling for an outside shot. Shot clock is winding down, knowing exactly what's left on the clock. Mason does a good job cutting to the basket. Terrific feed. Dawes able to put it right there to lead them towards the rim. And Mason caps off the three-point play. Isaiah Barnes picked up his fourth personal for Tulsa. He remains in the game. Digs it out for Rice. Overplaying in the passing lane there, able to cause the turnover. Fiedler. Oh, crafty move by Max Fiedler. And a timeout for Tulsa. He's starting the offense or finishing it. You want to get that ball into his hands to make a play here in these last four minutes. And... Three assists away now from his second career triple-double. Oh, Colby Williams almost threw it away. Bounced off the official. Jared Garcia nails a three. How fortunate was that for Tulsa? Big-time shot. Garcia will step back, knock down the three, held the follow-through. Watch it go through the rim. And Mason throws it away. Sometimes the ball bounces your way off the official. And I think the ball is going to go off Rice if it goes out of the bounds. It looked like Evie stuck his hand in there, but it stays alive. It almost froze the defense for a second. And then allowed Garcia to pop open the top of the key. Kobe Williams in the paint. A hard foul. I'll have to see him bounce right back up. That one looked like he might have landed awkward. Tax the rim, just fell. You know, the second look, it appeared Kobe Williams was able to avoid most of the contact from Fiedler, but again, with the awkward angle, he just landed hard. Well, the officials will take a look and, and see if a flagrant is warranted here. First glance, Sean, I wouldn't believe so. I, I didn't yeah. believe so either on, for, on first look. And, you know, also when you're looking for these, it's not only how hard the hit is, but is there any contact to the head, which yep. I didn't see in the first glance either. No. There's body contact, but you look for that swipe sometimes with the, yes. he, the arms going across the head. I've been a little bit the left hand to the face but let's see from this angle ah, see I, I i don't think that's excessive no, it, it's a it's a basketball play yeah and, and, and that's where the rules are tough sometimes because it's not malicious intent he's trying to block right. the ball with the right hand he scoops underneath him and is there enough contact there it, to me it looks clean no flagrant. Again, the, the language in the rule book, Sean, is right. excessive in nature, unnecessary or avoidable. I think that was more incidental yeah. than anything. Yeah, yes, yeah. a foul, yeah. but not a flagrant. No. So, two shots for Kobe Williams. Hope you're with us tomorrow, our ESPN Sunday afternoon women's basketball featured matchup in the SEC and two of the best in the league this year, Tennessee at Ole Miss. Coverage beginning at 3 Eastern from Oxford. So the lead back to double figures here for Tulsa. Yeah, huge possession here if you're Rice. Again, you want to play off of Fiedler if you can. Husainovich has been a little quiet here. He got him going back into it in the first half. See if he can get himself open. EV offline, rebound Tulsa, under three to play. That one again, just that, that's a long three. 
Once you get any time in the shot clock, you'd like to put a little bit more pressure on that defense. Try to step into a three off penetrate and kick. Haggerty, the redshirt freshman. Seven to shoot. Kobe Williams directing traffic. Screen from Garcia. Knocked out of his hands. And the shot clock runs out. Well, it's not the worst possession if you're Tulsa because now you are starting to play against the clock a little bit and you want the turnover to be a dead ball turnover instead of a live turnover going the other way where Rice can score quickly. Now you can set your defense. Eric Conkle said this is a young team that is figuring out how to win and figuring out how to defend. Isaiah Barnes just fouled out. Trying to stay in front of Makai Mason. So I saw SMU North Texas on Thursday, the Mean Green beating the Mustangs in a rivalry matchup. And Ross Hodge, the North Texas head coach, just unprompted as Mason hits the front end of the one and one. He said, you know, Tulsa has the best upward trajectory of anybody in this league. They are so young with all those freshmen. You can see they're getting better, even if the results haven't matched that improvement yet. And more than anything, they have a great head coach in Eric Conkle. Yeah, and the the last thing that usually comes are the wins. Yep. And you need confidence, right? You, you talk about that confidence, that consistency. So it's what do you get first? How do you get the confidence without pulling out the wins? It's starting to come together a little bit. And this would be a huge road win for this team. Two minutes, find a way to pull it out. It's taking care of the basketball. It's making your free throws here to close out this ball game. Under 10 on the timer for Jared Garcia. Is that a big game in his return to Houston? Against Fiedler. Oh, Garcia with the up fake. Great patience. Used almost the entire shot clock and then get a high percentage look at the rim. Outstanding possession for Tulsa. Husainovich off target. Now three of nine from three. Feels like Rice here has to force a turnover. Get after trying to trap this ball screen something. And they come up with a steal. Mason wide open. Got it. A triple. Timeout for Scott Perra and the Owls. And how about Jared Garcia and his homecoming? Yeah, really good job of taking his time. Shot clock goes all the way down inside the five, and then the up and under move from Garcia. And Rice trying to stay in this one. Three-pointer in the corner, cuts it back to single digits. Meanwhile, Kobe Williams got knocked down as Tulsa was trying to inbound it. Foul on Rice, and free throws on the way for the 50-year senior from Dallas. Bonus situation. So a little bit of pressure on this first one. Also, you take care of the basketball. You knock down your free throws. You're going to get out of here with a road victory and a lot of confidence for this young team. Missed the front end. Leaves the door open. Stay on the attack mode here. Rice still breathes here. 60 seconds to play. Evie, the floater, he banked it in. Six point game. And McWright is fouled. 50 seconds to go. It'll be Josiah McWright's first trip to the line tonight. He's 14 of 18 this season. Evie picks up his third. Two shots, so it takes a little bit of pressure off the first one. Big, big make there. Goes back to a three possession game. And if you're Rice now, you gotta keep attacking, keep trying to get to the basket. But making a score, you put that pressure, you can set your defense, set up that full court press, but you gotta go quick here. Two big free throws from another one of the Houston natives for Tulsa, Josiah McWright. 
Knocked out of bounds. Still Rice ball. And the officials might review that. Who actually touched it last? Lucas be a quick hitter. Husainovich to inbound. Evie. Oh, Kobe Williams swallowed him up. And Haggerty is fouled with 33 and a half to go. Lockdown defense from Kobe Williams. Great job guarding the ball, closing out, not allowing to get a three point shot up, and then sliding his feet, swiping at the last second. Clean play. Goes the other direction. Haggerty's going to have two shots. One more for Haggerty, just two points at the break on a transition bucket right before the buzzer. 18 cents and make it 19. 21 in the game for the top freshman scorer in the country. Husainovich. Money. A three ball and a timeout for Rice. 2022 at South Florida. They have lost 18 consecutive road games. Of course, last year's team under Kunkel was 5 and 25 overall. Into McWright and the foul by Evie. 27.8 left. And this is where a young team. How do you close out the ball game here? Last 30 seconds on the road. Put yourself in a situation to get a road victory. Good job on the inbounds. You get that ball in, no turnover. Now knock down your free throws. Close this ball game out. This is where you start to get some confidence if you're a young team closing the game out on the road. McWright from Cy Falls High School in Houston making the first. If you're here waiting for Loyola Marymount and St. Mary's, we will get you to Moraga here momentarily. The game has started on the ESPN app. Pick up, yeah, pick up your full court just to take a little time off the clock. EV wide open. Give it to him. That's a three. Same situation. Set up your press. Try to deny everywhere. Know that you have a timeout here for Tulsa, too. Carlos Williams couldn't handle it. Haggerty recovers it. And a foul with 15.4. Or was it a timeout? Timeout granted to Tulsa. Like you said, Sean, two remaining. Can't run the baseline. All right, spot throwing. And, and you can see Doss is all over that now. Instead of denying, you're going to get all over the inbounder because he can't move. The 6'9 Dawes doing jumping jacks. Into Kobe Williams and the foul. So back to 15.4 now is that half second comes off the clock. And Kobe Williams, who is four of six at the stripe tonight, steps up. Again, stays the same for Tulsa. Make your free throws. You get out of here with a win. Tulsa is 18 of 22 as a team. Kobe Williams with 18 points tonight. Not a make here. If you're Tulsa, you want to give a little bit of pressure just so they can't roll the ball up or take time off the clock. You want them to pick it up early here in the backcourt. Rice down six. Mason all the way to the cup and a foul. The last thing you want if you're Tulsa. It's on McWright. You want to guard that ball as he's driving, but you can't foul at the rim in this situation. It's one of those you almost have to let him go. Yep. If he's able to play through that contact, it's a chance for a three-point play in that situation. Mason, four of five tonight. So Mason can make it a four-point game here. 
with 10.8. Evie checks out for Rice and Selden comes back in. Offense for defense. Oh, missed it. And the foul with 10.1, and Kobe Williams heads back the other way. Good job boxing out, getting that rebound if you're Tulsa. Rice had defenders and rebounders in there. They tried to go after that one. Oh, missed the first one here. He split a pair a moment ago. Kobe Williams has had a nice game. Big first half with P.J. Haggerty struggling. Williams with 18 points, five rebounds, and six assists tonight. No matter what, it keeps it a two-possession game. I think you got to take a three here now. you yep. got to push it down and take a three. Rice down six. Mason pulls up. Oh, he got it! Three-point game, 5.2. Trying to force the turnover, he does! It's Rice Ball with 3.7 remaining! Up three, or do you play it straight? It's whatever you've practiced in. This is the amount of time you got to defend against the arc here, too. A two doesn't hurt you, but a three ties it back up. And the whistle blows here before Evie can even get it in play. It's against Carlos Williams. Tulsa does elect a foul here, and it'll send Noah Shelby to the line for two. Shelby has not attempted a free throw tonight. Knocks down the first. He is 15 of 15 here in his sophomore season. The yep. Vanderbilt transfer. Yeah, box out if you're Tulsa, but I believe you make this one. You don't try to miss. There's still enough time on this clock. Missed it. Fiedler got it back. Evie blocked by Garcia. Still time left. Rice ball. One tenth of a second. And will the officials look at this? Yes, they will. Another review coming. They're going to check the time. It's pretty accurate, I believe. You might feel put a little bit. And this is why Coach. And it looks like it'll actually be Fiedler to inbound. Rice's best passer. Can't argue with that. But there won't be much height at the rim as a result. Watch for Mason going to the basket. They're going to lob Mason. Fiedler up. Mason! Garcia the rejection! 